Under the city of Lwów, Poland, 10 Jews lived in a sewer for 14 months, never able to stand up, never seeing the sun. Among them was a young lady, barely in her 20s, named Helena Wind. Helena survived the Nazi campaign of genocide, first by leaving her family to board a train headed for the city of Lwów, disguised as a Catholic girl named Helena Naskowitz. She was subsequently saved by two righteous Gentiles, Leopold Socha and Stefan Verblewski. Socha and Verblewski were Christian sewer workers who hid Helena with a group of Jewish men, women and children underground in the sewers of Lvov. And they took us to a place called La Sand Bohm. We heard after the war that many other Jews were hidden there. I, I don't know if they're miracles, this was a miracle. Gerard and Ger von Ron, a soft-spoken Dutch husband and wife, righteous Gentiles, saved two young Jewish boys from genocide during the Nazi occupation of Holland during the Holocaust. The von Rons were newlyweds living in The Hague in 1942 when a friend of Mrs. von Ron, Antje Roos, who was a member of the anti-Nazi Dutch underground, asked her to hide an eight-year-old boy. The von Rons agreed and traveled to Amsterdam to pick up the young boy, Rudolf Klinkkramer, whose parents went into hiding in the Dutch countryside. Two months later, Antje Roos asked the von Rons if they were interested in hiding another Jewish child, Rudolf Liebknecht, who was only eight months old. Again, the von Rons said yes. Both boys lived with the von Rons for approximately two years. An interviewer once asked Mrs. von Ron, why did you do this? She said, you're asking the wrong people the wrong question. You have to ask, why didn't more people do anything? <laughs>